If you couldn't tell by my reaction to Intel's presentations, the announcement of the brand new Intel Arc B series graphics cards has been a weird one. No one really knew what to expect from it, given how it's been what, how many years since the launch of Intel Arc A series? Oh yeah, quite a few. We all know that those, while ambitious, didn't really sell too well, and of course there was the announcement of Pat Gelsinger, Intel CEO, leaving just a day before the presentation. So all the bets were right off when it comes to what Team Blue would showcase, and the end result is just... Fine, I guess? And what they did showcase was the brand new X E2 architecture powering the brand new B series graphics cards, which comes with the expected generation improvements and even up to a 70% increase of performance per core. Though unfortunately, right now we won't be able to see exactly how far they can stretch this architecture as they're not starting off with the flagships. Instead of the step down, more budget to mid range 12GB Intel Arc B580 and a step down B570 with 10GB of memory and few less cores and slower clocks as is to be expected. And they are actually set to perform better than even the A750, with the main competitors, as stated by Intel themselves, being the RTX 4060 and the RX 7600. Which might sound good and all until you remember that CES is just around the corner, where we'll be most likely getting the next generation graphics cards from both Nvidia and AMD. But in that window of time, before the launch of those budget next generation cards from the other two big players, and the release of these, then I guess Intel will be kind of the winner, and you will be able to enjoy them pretty soon, seeing how the B580 is launching on the 13th of December, with its younger brother launching on January 16th. And as is to be expected from Intel, one of the big other things is how aggressive the pricing is, with the faster model costing $250 and the B570 just $220. However, while I'm sure that Intel sent quite a few invites for the Battle Mage Party, not many companies actually RSVP'd, because the amount of partners is still concerning with just six in total, with only two of them being really recognizable here in the West. And even then, you don't really think of graphics cards when you think of Acer or ASRock. But still, at least you can get that sleek looking Founders Edition, or Limited Edition as Intel calls it, reference card. Looking as great as ever, now with an additional cutout at the top to act as an exhaust. But of course, as we all know, hardware is just half the story nowadays. The other half is the software, with Intel showing off exactly how good XCSS is, in anticipation of the most likely big update to XCSS coming with this launch, alongside the addition of their own frame gen. And it's gonna get pretty interesting seeing how now companies are decoupling their upscalers from the frame generation. So for example, you would be able to run, say, XCSS upscaling, though with FSR frame gen if you wanted to. Yeah, things are gonna get very complicated very fast, so subscribe to this channel because we'll be benchmarking all of the possible combos there. And while we know the last time driver updates were pretty much the savior of the A series, here Intel said that hopefully they won't have to rely on these as much to get the kind of performance they need, so hopefully you can get more out of your card when you actually buy it. You know, like kind of how it's supposed to be. But now I want to hear what you think. Do you think it's enough? Do you think they stand a chance against AMD and obviously Nvidia? And are you maybe getting one yourself? Let me know all of that down in the comments below. And hey, maybe check out our Patreon as well. Plus huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, Adam Vronyak, Polish Roker, Patrick Harrison, not a pseudonym, Mix on the Chain, Allcroft, and Level Up. But anyway, that's what it is. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone, good, bye.